Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I've got taste buds with me and we greet you and bring good tidings. We're on our way to another feeding exercise today. Um, it's a rainy Thursday, but that doesn't stop anything. We need to go and make sure we do our outreach today to uh, show the love that we're supposed to be preaching about in Christ. We're feeding 300 people today, a little less than we used to because today we're using our own funds and uh, the funds made available by only one person because we stopped all our charities uh, until we're able to ascertain a certain level um, of transparency. Uh, so I've got Taze Buds here. She's also going to say something. We're going to 1004 first. Uh, there's a destitute colony there and there women who um, we actually promised at a point that we're going to help um, by setting up businesses for them some of them needed as little as 150,000 naira now here's the thing uh, these women live under blankets of nylon in the harsh weather conditions you know and that's often their only protection from the weather and uh, we need to as much as possible as Christians who are doing the work of Christ, help them alleviate um, that poverty. Uh, Tazebud's right here and she's gonna take control. So Tazebud's, what's up? Hello everyone. So we're out for another feeding exercise today. Uh, we're not feeding the usual numbers um, we used to, but it's better to do something small than not to do anything at all. So today we're going out to feed 300 people. Like he said, we'll be going to 1004 and from there we'll be going to Okoba, a destitute camp to distribute whatever is left. So thank you all for believing in this movement and want to say a big thank you to, um, what's the name of that lady? I can't remember her. The lady from Germany, she sent uh, 20,000 Naira. Oh, okay. Yes. That was like two months ago. but. Because, like we said, we didn't open it to the public. We couldn't use the funds to. Do so that. we're using the so funds we're, now. We're using the twenty thousand naira now. So, thank you all. Passing the Oriental Hotel, Lagos, a beautiful city. Okay. So we've arrived at our first location, uh, the destitute center in one thousand and four not many people are around today um usually once they hear that we're around they they'll come right out so we're gonna go and turn down at um, that junction and come right back to the beginning of the road all right guys we're living 1004 right now unfortunately we didn't see any of the um, beggars at the usual um, destitute uh, spot so we're moving outside the gate we know there are quite a few beggars outside let's hope the police have not driven them away and um, if they haven't we'll start the feeding exercise right there so before we proceed to our main venue right these ones yes okoba okoba yeah thank you for that Ooh. oyibo ultra modern market always amuses me we're on our way to another destitute center now. Wow, what are those potatoes? There's nothing you're looking for in this market that you won't find. Taste buds, do you still come to this market? Yes, I do. Come on, you to ask me that. Uh, All right, it's, it's quite nice. We're almost at our destination, guys. All right, once again, we have arrived at the destitute center. So we're gonna get down and start feeding the people. Let's do this, let's make this happen, Lagos. All right, guys, so we're offloading the food. We have 300 packs. Okay, guys. Taste buds. Not 
Give this little boy here a hand. Small picking guys saying so they don't go collect first yes. one. Yeah, they don't come back for yes. second round. Yes. <laughs> Remain some for the elders that coordinated you know. Okay, so we're dividing this among the elders. Yeah, I'm going to fight. 